Hello beaver fans, welcome back to Mike's videos of beavers. Today I have a wonderful video of two beavers who were grooming each other's fur in a very long and intimate encounter right in front of me in the river. As you just saw, I was watching a younger beaver. Uh, this was last night, August 8th, 2022. Uh, and I had a really up close view of the younger beaver. And as I was watching him, an older beaver swam up to see what the young beaver was eating. You probably heard the younger beaver um, communicating a little there and, and apparently wanting to do some grooming as he went right to the older beaver's fur. But the older beaver wanted to eat, and so for the next little while, the two beavers were in front of me eating. I was moving my camera around, trying to make sure this rock wasn't blocking my view, and suddenly, as I was hoping, the two beavers started grooming each other's fur. I should say it's a little later in the evening, and you can see when I tried to zoom in here that I kind of lost focus. There wasn't a lot of light simply because they were down behind some big rocks, and it was it was uh, getting closer to sunset. So I zoomed back out and watched these two as they went about grooming each other. If you've watched any of my grooming videos before, then you know that beavers groom their fur regularly through the day. They use their hands and their feet and their teeth to comb and brush and work their fur to spread oils and clean debris from their fur. And what you see here is called social grooming or mutual grooming where they do it to each other, uh, presumably to reach spots that are harder to reach. They usually are working along the back, um, often near the, the tail as you can see here. Um, and this is quite common behavior uh, that they do not just with their partner, but with other members of the family. And here I think we have an adult and a younger beaver from the same family. So here I sat up a little straighter and reached out with my camera so I could give a bit of a view from above. Uh, just the angle they were doing this at kind of reminded me of a yin and yang type of a position. Um, I'm just so fascinated by this mutual grooming and I'm always thrilled when I find myself close enough to, to witness it. I feel compelled to say that when I when I get these close-up encounters of such an intimate uh, nature, uh, I, I don't want to give the impression that you can just rush up to wild beavers when they're doing this. Um, if I tried to approach the beavers while they were grooming, as soon as one of them saw any noticeable movement, they would vamoose in a hurry. Um, generally, when I get these close-ups, it's because I've uh, tried to anticipate where they're gonna stop and eat 
and sat nearby. And once the beavers are eating, I can usually creep a little bit closer if I move slowly. And sometimes I'm just lucky where I get in position to watch one beaver while it's eating and then another one comes up and they start grooming. I, I really would discourage anyone from, you know, trying to rush up for a good photo of two beavers grooming in the wild because all you'll do is interrupt them and cause them to stop. And it's a behavior that they, they need to do. And so I would feel terrible if people started interrupting these sessions uh, simply because they got the idea from, from my videos that you can just rush up and sit next to beavers. Um, when I get close like this it's after a lot of effort and moving very quietly and often because of a lot of just dumb luck This part of the grooming uh, routine always fascinates me where they uh, chew the fur on the side of each other's faces or just below their necks. It's, uh, it's just such a funny looking um, behavior and it surprises me because they can reach that part of their face with their hands and their feet. Uh, whereas a lot of the other places they chew tend to be uh, harder to reach. So I, I never quite understand why they spend all this time chewing the side of each other's necks like this. But but it is very interesting to watch and it, it's something they do quite commonly when they're doing the social grooming. Uh, so we're getting near the end of the video. You'll see here at this point the older beaver decides to do some solo grooming and each of them sit up and do a little bit of work on their own fur. Um, you know, I'm just thrilled to be able to bring these uh, intimate moments to you. Uh, I love that I get these close-up glimpses into the beavers' lives. Uh, very shortly here they're going to head out. One of the beavers is going to swim upstream and one swims downstream. I love there what you saw the older beaver's foot up in the air. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Check it out. I've posted almost 600 beaver videos to this channel. Um, if you get a chance to comment or like or tell people about my channel, the more eyes on it, the, barrier, the merrier. Cheers. Have a great day.